hey guys what's up it's your girl carol the diva welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and this one is inspired by this reel that i posted on my instagram and you guys actually really like it and wanted me to do a full tutorial so that's the reason why we're here today so if you're interested stick around to see first thing first i'm gonna start off with my brows and to do that i'm gonna use my anastasia of beverly Hills um brow gel and i'm gonna use this to comb them in the desired shape that i want and as you can see my brows they look fine they really don't look like i need to do anything to them um that's because i have prada brows done but i like to have them darker and you know just looking all fierce so i like to add more to it when i do my makeup and that's the only time I really do anything to my brows when I do my makeup because I really don't need to do anything to them. To define my brows and add more to it, I'm going to be using my NYX brow pencil. So here we go. I like to do like little strokes in it in the front right here. I'm not going to be talking while I'm doing it because I'm going to just mess everything up. So I like to do little strokes in it. I'm going to be doing strokes all over it as a matter of fact. But um in the front i like to go up straight and you'll see me doing it now that i'm done with the strokes i'm gonna go back over it with my spoolie and just comb through it like that. And this is gonna give it a more natural and softer look. So now my brows look nice and full and it's time to clean it up. And to do so, I'm gonna be using my Tarte concealer. And you could just say it's the only concealer I use. It's not the only concealer, but I use this more than any other concealer that i have so this is what i'm going to be using to clean it up i'm going to be using this flat brush right here to do so Now I'm going to go ahead and add some of that same concealer onto my eyelids and um, just remember wherever you add concealer you want to add setting powder to set it and to set my concealer today I'm going to be using this uh, setting powder. And to blend it out I'm going to be using my wet beauty sponge right here and I'm just going to dab it on just like that all over. And since I already have concealer up under my eyebrows, I don't have to worry about getting too close to it, if you know what I mean. And as you can see, I'm bringing it all the way into the side of my nose and going out with it. For my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using this palette and this one i got it with my subscription with boxy charm which i'm no longer subscribed to and um it's called beauty bakeries i don't really know that brand but i like the colors that's in there before i apply any of the shades from the palette i'm gonna use my contour powder which i'm gonna be using on my face and i'm just gonna be blending it on blend and bring it into my nose right here like y'all see me do before and I'm just going to keep packing it on till I feel like I have enough on there. And bringing it all the way out too. Just like that. And to do this, as you can see, I'm using a nice fluffy brush. 
because we need this to blend and trick the crowd you know what i'm saying as if this is your own skin tone so now i think i have it how i want it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into the palette and start adding more shades so the first one i'm gonna be adding is this yellow one right here and to add it i'm gonna be using the same makeup brush that i was just using i just cleaned it off on a um, piece of paper towel so we don't have colors mixing where we don't want them so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply some right here and i'm gonna apply just like i applied the transitioning color i'm just not gonna be taking it all the way up like i did with the first one or with the bronzer that you saw me using not too long ago so i'm just gonna be applying it right here in the crease okay so this is what it looks like so far i did go back over this one with some more of the yellow and i'm liking the way it looks so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some of the orange on it now and i'm gonna be using a smaller brush to do so so i'm just dabbing it on and kind of brushing it in i'm not blending anything out just yet just I'm just packing it on for now and I feel like the brush that I used to do it for that Instagram video, um, I feel like it applies this orange so much better than this one. But that brush is upstairs in my room and I don't feel like going up there to get it because I keep getting up and I feel like I'm done getting up now. So now that I feel like I have enough on down here, I'm going to be brushing what I have left on my brush up here and this is gonna just blend the orange into the yellow and if you feel like it's challenging for you to blend the two colors you could go back and forth from orange to yellow orange to yellow and you know just get it to blend how you want it Okay, so I did all the blending and I'm liking the way it looks right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner onto my eyes. The eyeliner pencil I'm using today is by Maybelline. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and line um, my lash line and I'm gonna be using this eyeliner to do it I'm gonna put the link down for you guys so you can find it I got it on Amazon and um, it got really good reviews that it was good it's waterproof and I really like that about it because some I some of the time my eyes get teary from me wearing contact lens and stuff like that and if it's not waterproof it's smudge and it don't look good but I don't have that kind of problem with this liner. So it's definitely worth the money. So definitely in the video, I had my lower lash line lined. So I went ahead and do that. And I also realized in the video that I added a lighter shade right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and add this one. I believe this is the one I used that day. <laughs> And remember to clean the brush off each time you're gonna apply a new shade using that same brush but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put some lashes on and the ones I'm gonna put on today is right here I got these on Aliexpress I like these because I'm gonna show you in a second why I like them so much let me just open this up <laughs> 
<laughs> okay there we go so as you can see the curl going up and i really like that about it so that's the reason why i've been wearing this one lately like in my last two or three makeup videos this is what i was wearing and that's what i'm gonna put on today so the glue i'm gonna be using to apply my lashes is one that i got from the beauty supply store this one right here One of the best thing I use to apply my lashes is like my tweezer, but this is really good too. I've been using this for a while and I like the way it works. So yeah, this is definitely really good, a really good tool to use. And there we go. So another thing guys, when you're applying your lashes, for people who don't know how to apply their lashes, when you put the glue on it, you don't want to put it on right away you want to make sure it gets tacky because if you don't wait for it to get tacky like when i say tacky like it's sticky um so it's kind of like right in between wet and dry if you don't do that you're gonna have problem putting it on and you're gonna be wondering why your lash not staying where you put it all right so i'm gonna wait for this one to get tacky and put it on and then I'll come back and you know do face okay. okay so the eyes are finished so and I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and I'm gonna be priming it with my Garnier green lab serum cream blah 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 so y'all know I like to put a whole ton of moisturizer and stuff on my face just because of how dry my skin gets believe me i already did i applied some moisturizer earlier before i start so i don't feel like applying anymore i'm just gonna do primer and i just realized my nails aren't done why are my nails not done For foundation today, I'm going to be using my True Match by L'Oreal. This one right here. And this is in the shade Neutral Classic Tan and 7. So I'm going to just pour a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, okay, that came out a little bit more than I wanted it to. And I'm going to just um, use my, my blending sponge to blend it in. <laughs> Mmm, I still like the way it feels on my face though. Oof. And this is drugstore makeup, guys. You could get this in what right aid? I think it, I bought it on Amazon though, but they're in Rite Aid, Walgreens, all the all the pharmacies. You could probably find it in um Dollar General. Because I found makeup in Dollar General before that I use that I like. But this is my very favorite drugstore makeup if you ask me okay now it's time to apply my concealer now i'm gonna go ahead with my wet sponge again and blend it out And with what's left on my sponge, I'm just going to go over my entire face with it, just like so. And just blend everybody in. And I know what you're saying. Now I look too white and all of that good stuff or bad stuff. But don't worry. We got this. We're going to make it work. 
I'm gonna actually apply some of my Fenty contour stick. This I did not do in the video, just so you know. But I feel like I feel like I want to apply some, so I'm gonna just apply some right here before I um, set my concealer. <laughs> And that's as much as I'm gonna be applying. So now I'm gonna set my concealer. I'm gonna use the same wet um, sponge. I'm just gonna dip it into my setting powder like that. Then I'm gonna just place it on my hand like that, just to push it into the sponge. And then, boom, apply it onto my face. And everywhere I added concealer, I'm going to be applying powder. Again, I'm just going to go over my entire face with the same sponge like that. And just get everywhere with it. Now I'm going to contour my face using this palette that I showed you earlier. This is from Morphe. There we go. And I'm just going to dab it off like that and just pat it in on my face. I don't want to brush it in, brush it in. It's not going to work for me, especially because I already applied so much things to my face. You don't want to, you don't want to rub it, then you have your makeup looking all crusty. So just dab it on like that. I'm also gonna contour my nose and I'm gonna apply it right here and bring it right up into that contour powder that I applied earlier on my eyelid. So another thing I like to do, especially if I feel like I may added too much contour powder or maybe it didn't go on as uniform as I wanted it to, I like to apply some of my setting powder like this and just pull it down like that, kind of blend it out. And I'm just gonna let it sit right there for say five to ten minutes before I do anything else. So the next thing I'm gonna apply onto my face is this MAC and this is my MAC skin finish and it looks like this on the inside. So I apply this all over my face to just like tone it down after everything that I apply on it. It's like a filter, it just makes everything like come together if you know what I mean. So this is like one of my favorite products to use. I probably mentioned that in other videos before. I don't know, but yeah, this is like one of my favorite products to use when I'm using my makeup. Now I'm gonna apply some blush onto my face and the one I'm using today is from Il Maquillage, this one. This is the one I used in the video, so it just makes sense to use it now. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it like this. I'm gonna blend it up into my concealer like they say on Instagram that that's how you do it. Instagram and TikTok. They say if you ain't blush, if you ain't blending it into your concealer, you're missing out. So I don't wanna be missing out. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna blend it up into my concealer like that. And I did it for the first time in the video and i absolutely loved it you hear me love it i didn't apply none of it on my nose but i'm gonna apply a little bit on my nose today 
Because why not? Like right here. There we go. Boom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter. And the one I used in that video is this one here. And this is, um, oh, and this one is from, I got it with my BoxyCharm subscription. Also, I really, really like it. Like when I apply this, it, you could just see the difference right away. So I really like it for that. And now I'm gonna apply some to my nose, like so. And I'm gonna also apply some, this one is a lighter shade right in here, like the. I'm also gonna apply some of that right on my cheekbone right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip with this lip liner. I believe I got it from the beauty supply store. It's called Ultra Easy Lip Liner. There we go. And that's what I'm gonna use to line my lip. This is what I used in the video. So this lip liner has kind of like a red undertone and it's very soft going on so I really like it for that. I like to use the back of it to just smudge it out like that. Oh gosh. Look what I did because I'm talking while I'm doing it. There. And now it looks like it never happened. So I'm going to use the back of it to smudge it out. <laughs> so this is the lipstick that I use. This is from NYX. Um, butter gloss and it's in the shade BLG 13 and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it and after I apply it you know I keep smudging it in like that until I get you know the look I'm going for so that's what I'm gonna do and if I need to apply more I go ahead and apply more like so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip oil on my lip to give it some sheen and this one is from LA color I believe I got this in family dollar that's where I usually find that product there and now I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this on my face this is from Maven Beauty Rose Water setting spray and this is like my favorite part this feels so good on my face so let's do that mm. all right now I'm gonna change guys and show you the finished look okay guys so this is the finished look I put the same earrings in as I was wearing in the video also, I put this jacket back on that I had on in the video. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I wanted some kind of similarities. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I know the makeup may not look exactly like it looked in that Instagram picture, but you got to take into consideration that I'm in different lighting. I was in my room. My room is not lit up like it is in here where I'm at right now. 
so of course you're gonna probably see a little bit of difference maybe maybe not but um yeah this is the look guys i know it might be a little bit challenging for someone that's a beginner but if you're not so new to makeup this should be something easy that you could you know follow and try and actually get because um it's simple steps and i gave you guys all the steps i'll let you know what i'm using and all of that stuff um yeah i hope you like it i like it <laughs> but definitely if you do like it please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate that also if this is your first time on my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye